Uh, having the film honored here means so much to me. It's, it's uh, I mean, the movie is about prejudice. The movie is about the ugly result of prejudice, the fear of anyone who's different. And being here and having the movie being recognized means so much. And I'm happy to be here and try to support as much as I can. You know, um, talk a little bit about uh, why the award um, is important in terms of people thinking differently. What does it What does it show people who are different? I mean, the the I mean the heart of the movie to me is you know Alan Turing was a man who could see the world from a different point of view. You can see the world from a different angle. Come up with these extraordinary ideas because he wasn't burdened down by normality. <laughs> he could so, his mind could soar free. He was somebody who was different in so many ways. And, and uh, I want us to celebrate those. I want us to listen to these people. I want us to celebrate the differences in us instead of, instead of trying to make everyone the same. I mean, then that's the, it's, it's, it's something I, I think is so important. And, and, and then being here tonight and, and having the movie celebrated here, it, it's, it's a great honor. Great. You know, um, one of the things that um they were telling me before was that Benedict and Stephen have petitioned yeah. the British government. Oh, I'd love to tell you about that. Yeah, to pardon the 49,000. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Alan Turing, Alan Turing was pardoned in 2013. I mean, that was actually it was two months after we wrapped. He was pardoned by the Queen. Uh, first of all, I would say it's kind of we have mixed feelings about it. Everybody who's been sort of like living with Alan Turing for so long and, and trying to uh, spread his legs because there's nothing to pardon. This man did nothing wrong. So it's, uh, it's, it's great that he's getting the attention by the, by the involvement of the Queen, but there's nothing really there to pardon. And it's, I think it goes without saying that the 49,000 other men who was prosecuted under the same law should be pardoned as well. It goes without saying. None of them did anything wrong. It was a horrible, uh, horrible law. And, and uh, it's, I, I hope now that, that the campaign that's been, been set in motion can, can happen so that all of these men uh, can be pardoned. I mean, I got this lovely email from a 92-year-old man. He said, I'm 92-year-old. I, I was convicted under the same law as Alan Turing. Uh, I went to jail for being a gay man. And I saw a movie in tears, and thank you for shedding a light on this. I want people to take away, first of all, that, that's finding out more about Alan Turing, this important man who should be on the front cover of every history book, who's sort of like been, been sort of like lingered in the shadows of history far too long. Uh, and second of all, I wanted to walk out and decide that I will never show prejudice against anybody the way Alan Turing's have a prejudice. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Morton. Great movie.